Hello everybody, welcome to another CSGO editing tutorial. With this one, I'm going to be showing you my updated render settings for Vegas. So this is just a random project I have open. So first off, all we need to do is open up the project properties and make sure they are set correctly. So the resolution is kind of dependent on what you want to edit at. I don't recommend anything below 1920 by 1080. Um, in this case, mine is 2560 by 1080 because that's the resolution I recorded my clips at. Uh, so this will be 1440p in the 21 by 9 aspect ratio, so that's why it's like that. Uh, the frame rate is sort of depending on what kind of video you're making. So if you're making a frag movie, you're probably going to want it to set at 60 fps. Um, if you're making an edit, 29.97 uh, or 24 fps is what you want. In my case, I have at 24 fps. Uh, everything else you can pretty much leave the faults. I uh, set this to best and disable resample, and then just click apply. All right, once you have that done, just make sure you select the uh, area you want to render out, like so. Then go to render as. Um, and then what we need to look for is main concept AVC slash AAC, which will be an MP4 format. Uh, just select the uh, internet 1080p preset. And then what we need to do is set up the custom frame size. So whatever you record your clip at, just enter the resolution, so minus 2560 by 1080 like before. Uh, so set the frame rates to whatever you had it for. Um, everything else you can pretty much leave the fault. And for bit rates, what you need to do is set this to uh, 50 million. Uncheck the progressive download. And for encode mode, I like to uh, just use the CPU only since it doesn't really make much of a difference. But if you do have uh, a system that's available with one of these options, so it will be either be OpenSea or CUDA. You can go ahead and select that. It might render a bit faster, but in my case, it doesn't make much of a difference. Go to audio and set this to 320. Go to project, uh, set the render quality to the best. And that's, and that's pretty much it for the render settings. You can go ahead and name this and save it as a preset. Now, if, if your rendered file does come out slightly darker than normal, what you have to do is go to the track effects like so and add to levels. Add levels and then just go to one of the presets up top and just select computer RGB to studio RGB like so and that will make it so it's back to normal in the rendered file. So in the preview it might look a bit washed out but in the final render it should be fine. Alright so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.